These people, they owed over $7,000 on this unit. They hadn't paid in a couple of years, apparently. Um, the guy was telling me that during the whole COVID thing, apparently these people had issues with COVID or said they did, so they um, weren't paying, they weren't charging them. Um, well, they were charging them, they just weren't making them pay and they weren't auctioning their stuff off. So the bill kept building up even though they weren't paying. So it ended up going over seven grand and the guy was telling me that here recently, U-Haul, they had a meeting and a lot of these units that have been um, just, you know, that are extremely behind from the whole COVID thing. They finally said, we've got to get these out of here. Cause like you said, these people, it's been like two years, over $7,000 on the bill. And you gotta think, okay, there's two 10 by 10 units. So most likely you're probably around a hundred to $150 on each one of them. So when your bill's over $7,000, you know, that tells you that it's been a long time. I mean, they're adding late fees and all that kind of stuff, but the stuff isn't worth over $7,000. I mean, it's sentimental, it could be, but it's not truly worth over $7,000 as used items at this point. So, you know, it'd be crazy for them to even come up with that money to pay for this stuff at this point. But, so that's what happened with this one. So that's what's probably happening with a lot of units out there right now. They're ones that are literally, you know, built up units from COVID. So he was telling me that there's probably gonna be a lot of units here over the next couple of months, at least through U-Haul. Through Cause now I think some of the other companies, they started selling theirs a long time ago that they were giving people slack, but U-Haul apparently was giving a lot of slack or at least in this area, I don't know. <laughs> got the chest of drawers there i think this is matching nightstands there well i don't see another nightstand i don't know if that matches it or not i think it does armoire i don't know if this is an armoire or it's more of a, a storage cabinet i think this is the dresser that matches that i think this is another piece that says broy hill on the back that looks like it matches that and then we got this kind of vintage wood tall cabinet almost you know you could use it as a pantry or I don't know we haven't opened yet i really don't want to take the tape off of it because then the door is going to swing around but i don't know if it's just open in the middle like a big locker like you can put tall stuff in or what and then we got one two three four five we got six very nice looking chairs here and the couch so hopefully we get a table for this right here that chair right there actually goes with the ones in the other unit and then we've got this we got two more boxes here and we got a weird looking kind of box here we need to get out there's hinges there so this is the top so we're going to get some of this stuff out and we'll look in these right here chairs down there pretty nice chairs Anne's favorite part of these chairs is they have a butt print in each one of them <laughs> all right let's get this thing and see i'm curious what's in here oh it might be a, it's like a little toy box Sounds like it might be toys. Well, there might be some old toys in here. We got toys. Is there anything good? There's an old. This is from the Disney store, 1997. Oh, this is good. Look what we found in here. We got Teddy Ruxpin. Oh man. He doesn't have his clothes. But he looks like he's in pretty good shape here. Oh, and look right here. This is an original. Original Ninja Turtle here. Do we have any more of them? I don't know. Watch a big down in there. What is that's a part of a, a watch. There's an old little spinning top thing there. That's cool. What is this guy? Teddy bear. Um, that's part that's a ninja turtle figure this was one i think but its head's missing i don't know this was i think it might have been the crocodile guy there's rainbow sylvester stallone yep um dang on his half of his face is broke so we found a couple more up oh, we got miss piggy pez dispenser Are these, is this G.I. Joe? Oh my goodness. 
Made in China. I don't think this it's is official Jojo. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Oh, we got Baxter the Fly. So we got three of them here. Headless Superman. They had Ninja Turtles playing guards. Oh, and Lena just found the Ninja Turtles motorcycle, but it's missing the handlebar. Yeah. Oh, here's one. Ooh. We got the robot one, look, Leah. Oh, oh, this is one right here. I remember this guy, he was a pilot. Yeah. Duck. I don't know what he's from. That's Chuck Norris. It sure is. <laughs> That's Chuck Norris. The Chuck it's Norris a doll. A pounder from McDonald's it turns into like a little. Oh, oh yeah, I think that goes to a Ninja Turtle something. Um, might be. Got some legs. This okay. This is the leg. This was a, a real G.I. Joe right here. It's just all in pieces because I used to have this exact Inspector one. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget. Um, this is a G.I. Joe figure. So there is a couple. Yep, Hasbro. Yep, 1986. I think, yeah, 1986. That's an original G.I. Joe. There might be some more G.I. Joes in here once you can start looking closer. Oh, there's Casey Jones. Yeah. Some of these, some of these can go for a lot of money. We can straight down that way, all the way to the opening down there. Our light went off, and we're gonna try to get it back on. Is this a GI Joe? Um, no, I don't think so. He is, but he's missing that leg. Oh, Thundercats. That's a GI Joe right there. I know he is. I forgot what his name is, but I remember him. Look at this thing. I know, I picked it up. On it looks like one of the raisin, raisins, California raisins turned into a monster. Look at it. It does. Because it has the shoes and everything. I wonder if it's this something guy. related to that. That kind of looks like, I don't know if that's Robocop without his mask or what. That's part of, I think this is a Ninja Turtle or something. Yep, 1989 Mirage Studios. Anything that says Mirage Studios is Ninja Turtles. Yep, that was part of that. So I'm wondering if there might be more somewhere. Another box has more Ninja Turtle stuff in it. I think this, uh, nope, that's not a G.I. Joe. Okay, well, so we found some good, what is that? Let me see that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, we found some. Um, there's probably a few more GI Joes in there if we start digging. That guy there, I don't think so. But well, 1987 Hasbro. That might be a GI Joe. Yeah, there's a few missing pieces. But hopefully maybe there's some more toys in another box that goes with some of this stuff. So we found several Ninja Turtles pieces. Oh, look at this. G.I. Joe comb. I had this thing. Look at this. That's cool. Yeah, but you can just put those in there separate. That'd be good. What do you think's in this container here? It's a big, heavy container. I'm hoping for toys. Looks like Christmas stuff. Oh! And, and... That's your boyfriend's sock right there. Tell you, look at that. Well, Sam is right here. There he is. Oh, oh, look at this one. This is cool. It's a Riches. Is he? Yeah, I think so. 1988. It's a vintage Riches 1988. This looks like my Santa that I get from mom and dad, doesn't it? See the yeah, face? My big one? Yeah. Oh, but there's Mrs. Claus. Yeah. There's, oh, your, oh, there's, there's your... Oh, there's your... There's your enemy. enemy. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you always fighting with each other and so jealous? Lots of Santas. These little 
These, you know, these were from back in the 90s when everybody wore those suits that were made out yeah. of the same material. They had those jogging suits made out of windbreakers. I think there's some good stuff in here. Oh, that's cool. Look, that's cool. It's a little Santa with a um, deer. This? But there's a bunch of Christmas stuff in this well, you one. Know, when he gets home Christmas Eve after he's delivered everything, he takes the hat off and that's it. It's a Santa face. But that one's cool. Oh this one um this one would have sung or something. Yeah. It's got batteries in it. Yeah. Little, little um lightsaber yeah. books. You would have got out of those little lightsaber things. Here's a little set of bears. Oh, they're stocking holders. Yeah, I think there'll be some good stuff on down in there. Oh, sure. my wants is <laughs> All right, we're over here on the second unit now. It's a lot of what's taking up a lot of room is the refrigerator and couches. We do have a few more boxes. Big old organizer full of hardware. Nesting table set. And this little thing, this is pretty nice right here. Okay, we got a washer and dryer in it. Lots of big stuff. Looks like a table, maybe. Washer and dryer. There's a fan. This is a big cup set. I mean, it's... Yeah, all these pieces. And this is a kitchen island. It's like a little island, yeah. It has a little tower up. It's got a granite top. Yeah, and just other miscellaneous furniture. Is that a cool chair? The... That's a cool chair. A rocking chair. Yeah. It's, a, it's a vintage rocking chair. There's some... I'm seeing a red case back there. I know. All right, I moved a couple of the couch pieces out of the way so we could get some of the smaller stuff here. This is a pretty nice little island. Hopefully it's got that handle there. If not, that's not a big deal to fix, but granite top. And then look right here, we got a vintage milk jug. Pretty nice. It's the big heavy duty one. This old bucket. Okay. There's one of these red things. I was wondering what that was, but look, there's another one right here. What is this? What is it? Ornament safe. Oh, it's Christmas. Christmas ornaments in here. All right. Now, look, at, look what we got here. We do have. We got more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. This is cool. Look at this guy right here. He's one of those. You hang him up like in a door doorway, and you put. Pulling the string on the bottom and it makes him kind of his arms move up and down. We got Sesame Street ornaments. That's pretty nice. They're like they're ceramic. Um, what else we got? We got a gnome. And oh, here's another Ninja Turtle ornament there. We got a Crayola ornament. What is this? That's kind of interesting. It's a Hooters ornament. And then look at this one. It's a computer. It's like the old 90s computer. So that's kind of cool. Kind of, It's really retro now. At the time when they bought it, it probably was not retro at all. It was like a modern, up-to-date computer. But there is another one back there. And there's a this cool chair here, like we were mentioning. It's a kid's. Oh, God. Oh. It just fell on me and I... My hands are full. Okay. <laughs> All right. I not, it's my fault. I knocked it over on myself. All right. Let me just set this down. Okay. But yeah, there is washer and dryer. Look, we got a patio set. I mean, this unit, both of these units are just packed with stuff. But look at this thing right here. This is cool. Let me get this other ornament case down. Ugh. and more we got little wicker stuff we got a huge vase there with flowers in it artwork just tons and tons of stuff other ornament tote here we got some other cool stuff we got a little tigger stocking oh we got snoopy he's got a little chip in his ear but he's still good you could touch that up it's a really small chip we have a georgia bulldog santa ornament that's cool 
There's lots of generic, you know, Santa and all that kind of stuff. This one's kind of unique right here. I don't know if they made this one. It's half an apple. And then it has like a snow white scene kind of plastered on the inside. That's kind of cool. We got rocking horse. Little bike there. We got another Georgia Bulldog ornament here. And we got a Tennessee. So, okay, we got Georgia stuff, but then they got Tennessee Smokey as Santa there. Which is lots of cool looking ornaments in general here. All right, we're back down here. We had to do a second trip here. My second trip here. I got Keith here helping me. Mostly furniture I've been loaned, but there is a few little boxes here. That looks like kitchen, like small appliances. Um, I don't know what that is? Did you see what this was? Purses and stuff. Microwave. Um, but we do have kind of a mystery item here. We were trying to figure out. That down there says Christmas lights. But look at this thing here. It's like a weird, oddly shaped item. It feels like a basket with a bag around it. And then look, there's a tube. It looks like it was purposely like stuck through here. We were kidding around saying there's like an animal in the basket, you know, like a breeding tube, but don't know. So let's see what we got in this mystery basket. Some fur. No, I don't know. It's like from clothing or something. It looks like Okay, I guess it's just some purses. Oh, what's comb. Tube? I don't know. Let's see. Purses. What is this? Like coming over here. Let's see. I don't want to completely tear it open. Oh, just um, I guess it just accidentally stuck through. It looks like some like shampoo or like hair type stuff there. With the breathing tube? Mm-hmm. It's like a pump. Oh. It's just sticking up. Okay, so there's nothing really interesting. Like we thought it might be. But yeah, we're almost done here. Had some really nice furniture. There's a huge Broy Hill bedroom set with a ton of pieces. Those are the side rails. I've shown a lot of the other pieces to that set. Um, very nice table that was in here that some of the chairs in the other one went to. Just other miscellaneous pieces of furniture. There was a recliner that matched the couch that was in that one over there. Refrigerator, washer and dryer, rolling island, which I've already showed, some other small stuff. All right, back here going through some of these boxes now. We got them back here at the store. Um, that said, pictures galore, and it, that was literally all pictures. So I'm going to ask the people at the facility if they want these back. Um, went through another box here. Lots of um, cookware, some nice stuff like look at this stock pot here. Um, some cut glass stuff, you know. Like this picture. That's a really nice picture right there. I'm gonna cut glass um quite a few just going in this buggy for a minute here i'm gonna roll this out and put in the auction stainless steel bowls um what else glass sets which those clear glass sets i mean those things are hard to sell but we put them in the ding aisle starts at two so we're gonna sell it somewhere between two dollars nobody buys it for two dollars one dollar 50 cent or a quarter then it'll be free and maybe somebody will take it then but we'll most likely sell it for a few dollars not a few dollars but a dollar or two all right baskets fern baskets living room probably not going to be an exciting box but let's see what we got here and pretty much kind of what it said baskets there is an old um oil lamp here but i don't know if the the top glass is in there there are actually two of those in there and something else down in here some kind of jug or something let's see we pull all these baskets out a couple interesting baskets all right let's see look at this jug this is cool It's all brown, no markings on or anything. Just, it's a pretty fat, wide jug there. That's a nice one. Got a couple of little chips. It's hard not to get this old stuff like this without any little dings in it. But it's all still intact with the handle and everything. That's really nice. And what else is in there? There's something else down in here. Let's see. Set 
the jug down. There's a basket that has something in it. It's got a gourd in it, I guess. Gourd and... Okay, a little flower pot. Hobnail, but it's not like an old one. It's a newer kind of hobnail look flower pot. All right. I don't know what exactly right or white but it's sometimes it's hard to read what people write on here um picture in plastic drawers so all right yeah it looks like it's just a bunch of pictures yeah they got these little plastic things and they're full of family pictures so that's another one on top of that one that we will potentially be able to get back to the people i don't know have to talk to the facility And this says pots and more pots and pans. We already had some, but I do have a whole bunch of lids down in that one that I didn't have pots or pans for. So maybe we'll find some matches in here. Maybe not. Looks like we got some circle on. Circulon Meyer. Okay. They're in. I mean, somebody would still use them. They were kind of worn in there, but. Get those out of the way. But all kinds of pots, pans. Right here. Oh, we got the cast iron cornbread pan. Let's see. I don't see any markings on it really. There's a number of BM227GP. So. Here's another piece of cast iron. Oh, this this is a Wagner. We got a Wagner. It's in real nice shape here. Wagner cast iron skillet. More. Okay, we've got more of these bowls right here. These stainless steel bowls. I already put some of them down in there that are exactly the same as that with that black bottom. Here's another one. And more of the same down there. Pots, pans, stainless steel bowls, all that kind of stuff. I don't know why you have old English with the pots and pans, but they do. But what we're going to find in here. Looks like a bunch of stuff in this box here. This must be the turtle lamp or one of the turtle lamps. Look at this. This is cool. It's unusual. It's a stack of turtles. And a turtle shell lampshade hanging down. So that's an interesting one right there. Wonder if there's a matching one or if there's just different turtle lamps. I don't know. We will see here. What else do we have? Grandma's pot holder. Let's see. Little baskets. It's kind of hard to get to anything right here. Okay, here's the other turtle lamp. It is a match matching set here very unusual never seen one quite like that all right some fake plants there is quite a bit of kind of 90 style stuff you get these kind of wooden hearts all this kind of stuff it's just kind of kind of out of date some of that stuff's out of date but definitely some good stuff too but where the heck am I gonna... there we go now what is this this is let's go to is that just like some kind of a is that what it is like some kind of press I'm not sure yet or if there's something that goes with that it's just like a block now look at this. This is cool. This is a press right here. It's wooden and then look at the design right there. That's really cool. Right, let's keep looking. We got a rooster plate. Always finding the rooster stuff. Set that off to the side. There's another basket with some goodies in it. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it's got some cool stuff in it. We got some little wooden buckets. 
that's like a heavy like um brass little teapot there i wonder if there's a a lid more brass 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 um there's a little teapot made in japan with okay it's just like some little bead things in it what else is in here is there lids to any of this stuff here is a lid that might be the lid to that it is got a little brass candle holder what else heart oh we got a chicken it's a beanie baby chicken so they like chickens we got a brass bell this is nice right here doesn't really quite it's got the little thing hanging there but it should have like a little weight hanging there to make that really ring so that's not 100 percent there but I don't see the lid though to that made in Japan um, little teapot there. Bless this home, Linux. Okay, that's nice right there. Nice little Christmas looking Linux dish right there. And then there's just like little candle holders in there like this. Alright, let's set this to the side and see if we find anything else that goes with that. Hearts, bucket. Okay, let's keep looking here. Uh, we got a couple saucers. Wonder if they got teacups for them. We will see. No markings on those. A bunch of wood stuff in here. Like I said, look. That's straight up like country 90s right there. You got the heart. You got the duck. And the paper towel holder. You got some more hearts here. Yes, that was a style. The hearts and the ducks at one point. Well, that's kind of cool. It's a little um, cowboy boot. I wonder if that's supposed to be like a cutting board. It's mahogany, but I think the tip of it's actually broken off. Let's keep on looking. We got a cross. A lot of people collect crosses. What else? A little metal tray. More little basket stuff. in here okay here is a clock but unfortunately it's got a piece cracked off the top but it's still nice looking clock really you could just kind of touch that up with something put a little wood filler or something oh i just dropped that Ugh. fix that clock up all right another strange wooden tool of some sort here made in japan it threads in I'm not sure yet on that. Oh, okay, this is a lamp, I guess. That's a cool little lamp. Little metal. It's kind of got a little design here. It looks like a sheep and a palm, a palm tree, kind of. Not sure if anything goes on top of that. That might just be it there. More wood. Some big old wooden candle holders here. Like I said, more 90s stuff. Look at this. The wooden little shelf with the wooden bow. Another one. These things are going straight up on the, the dollar dig aisle. Maybe somebody will get them. Who knows? Maybe we'll end up giving them away for free either way. As long as they're going, I don't care on something like that. We've got a wooden, it's almost like a paint stir. And then a little wooden bin right here. That's kind of like what you'd put matches in, like long matches next to the fireplace, I'm thinking. Long matches. Not really sure the exact intent of that, just some kind of a shim or something. And we got a picture this is not it's like um i don't know what you call this material but it's not not porcelain or ceramic or whatever it's not plastic it's kind of like a wood type material almost like you know like a gourd it feels like one of those gourds almost bunch of little junk in it there's a yo-yo matches i'll kind of have to look i'll look down in there a minute match little matchbooks and stuff like that matches Quite a few matchbooks actually looks like logan's roadhouse all 
a little more digging down here. Here is another tool. This is kind of like a mortar, you know, like you'd normally you'd have the bowl and then you kind of smash and mash stuff up. But I don't see the bottom part that looks like that would go with. Some basic little metal candle holders. Those are a dime a dozen. Throw those in the dollar area. Dollar dig aisle. And here's two more. Okay, these kind of match. Okay, no, they're not exactly the same, but these are wood. No, they do have the same, a similar handle. Yeah. Similar to that picture right there. They're just smaller. And these are wood. Are they exactly the same? They're close. I think um, they're not exact because I think, you know, these are handmade. So they're close, but not exact. But those are pretty cool. Definitely a different feel and look than what you typically typically see on a pitcher. And then basically all that's left, there's some little candle holders and a big old, <laughs> some kind of big old bowl here. All right, let's see what we have in this pitcher here. Look, we got matchbooks. Angelo's Steak Pit, Panama City Beach. That's kind of a famous restaurant in Panama City. Calhoun's, that's a famous restaurant when you go up to Gatlinburg. Knoxville, that area. Oh, look at this. Blockbuster card. That's a rare find, the Blockbuster card. Oh, that's kind of cool. ZZ Top at the Omni. The Omni it was in Atlanta. It does not exist anymore. That was the main arena where like the Hawks played and stuff. And it is not even does not even exist anymore there's a whole new arena and everything what is this guy here a little guy he's like leaning on some books talking on the phone and here's another guy here what is he doing dancing or something here <laughs> and then other than that looks like a lot of match books for the most part yeah matches Ooh, oh this is cool right here that's a cool ticket right there from 1983 Conway Twitty ticket stub. Let's keep looking just in case. Here's the yo-yo. Matchbooks. Oh, here's another ticket stub. American Adventure. Oh, this is kind of cool for me. I mean, this isn't worth anything, but this used to be a place I used to go when I was a kid. And um, they had rides and games and stuff like that. American Adventure. That doesn't exist anymore another yo-yo all right let's just dump the whole thing out here and see several matchbooks some keys um, here's another ticket stub what is this this one is Ooh, this is from the grand all opry I don't know how old this is. Okay, that's from the Grand Ole Opry there. Oh, is it, this might be the other half. Nope, it's just another ticket. I don't know what year that would be. <laughs> Titanic. They went and saw Titanic at the movie theater along with a lot of other people. There's an old Batman button. And, oh, look at this. is cool. That's funny. We had the Budman sign in the auction last week. We got a little Budman I guess I guess it'd be a keychain or something. Matches, and then here's a little note here. Let's see what the note says. Probably says do not. Okay, this is an. It's a. I guess this is like a, a shopping list, or maybe some. <coughs> excuse me, a Christmas list. Shorts, two pair of jeans, shirts, t-shirts for bumming, panties, hair stuff, dresses. Bathing suit, tennis shoes, sandals, dress shoes, medicine, lots of Benadryl, haha, CD, CD player, there for a ride down. Or maybe that's their list of like going on vac stuff to take on vacation. All right, there's a little key right there. So there you have it. Sometimes it's interesting digging through these little junk stashes like this. Never know what you might find. Man, I got excited for a second. I just pulled this little money bag. It's an old money bag from Cobb Exchange Bank. And I'm like, look, this thing is full of coins, which it is, but they're all just little generic, like, you know, tokens. 
no cash value like you know from an arcade or something it's full of them which i can't sell these i've had people buy these before but i was hoping i was like oh it's gonna be you know, some kind of old coins or something oh well all right here's this is all the stuff from one of the boxes that had all the paperwork and stuff in it you know we got like the jimmy carter plate we got all kinds of jimmy carter you know button and letter here we got lots of old newspapers from the nixon trial from jimmy carter being elected there's jimmy carter pins got an old pipe here we got some old some kind of vintage sheriff's department cobb county georgia stuff here patches um we got some kennedy for president vintage bumper stickers here these are pretty cool there's two of those old letterman's um letters there lots of different um democratic buttons little donkey buttons and pins and everything here um cufflinks lots of john f kennedy we got the life magazine on john f kennedy and postcards and different stuff um lots of po political stuff like right here barry and bill right there we got the lbj stuff lyndon b johnson campaign pins and hat and everything some blue angel stuff more kennedy stuff different political stuff here All right we're still digging through the boxes from that you know been finding a lot of good stuff like right here look kitchen aid mixer came out of that unit very nice um christmas dishes nico we look down here more nice dishes corningware we got some um precious moments lots of corningware here it was in the boxes and we're still we're still digging back there in the back and then let me show you some other stuff look at this thing right here i'm really not sure exactly what this is for but it's like a big wooden rolling pin stand maybe to hang your dish towels on or something i'm not sure um there ended up being a garbage bag in the unit it was full of beanie babies nice clean beanie babies with the tags uh let's see let's roll down this way little jack daniels metal tin some of the, all, most of the stuff right there here was from that unit there's a few things like these pumpkins are not these are pumpkins that we've been selling we just put some in the auction but most of what you're seeing is from that unit um there's the goose you saw that when we pulled it out all these records you know those are the ones that i was showing a lot of good records I actually kept a few for myself and but all the stuff that you're seeing here like all these records if we come down here all of this stuff is out of that unit all the records um we got crown royal glassware wagner uh, cast iron skillet all the stuff that you see all the stainless steel bowls and everything the really cool jug i think i showed that but everything that you see here and like i said we're still pulling stuff out and the furniture we got to get get a lot of the furniture out some really nice furniture right 